The Oak Ridge National Laboratory 2000 Complex Demolition Project addressed eight facilities in the northwest quadrant of the ORNL Central Campus that were identified as posing high risk to the laboratory. With a footprint of nearly 62,000 square feet, these eight excess facilities were seriously deteriorating, lacked an active fire suppression system, and were releasing PCB-contaminated paint from the largest facilities. They were also in close proximity to the new Oak Ridge Science and Technology Park development. The 2000 complex facilities were constructed over a period of 10 years from the late 1940s through the late 1950s, Consisting of four laboratory facilities and four storage and support buildings, the complex supported various Department of Energy missions that over five decades included the development of reactor fuel elements, health physics laboratories, beryllium machining, basic environmental science research, laser research, and material science. In the spring of 2009, DOE initiated a time-critical removal action under the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act. This action addressed potential health and environmental threats as well as potential releases of radioactive and hazardous materials due to the deteriorating conditions at the complex. This 11 and 3 quarter million dollar American Recovery and Reinvestment Act project was funded by the DOE Office of Environmental Management, managed by the DOE Office of Science, and performed by UT Battelle, the ORNL Management and Operations Contractor. To kick off the project, the UT Battelle Environmental Management Program Office Team performed facility inspections and characterization activities. Facility inspections and radiological surveys were performed to better understand radiological, structural, and industrial hygiene conditions. Characterization activities helped identify anomalous waste streams, provided information for the development of waste profiles, and ensured that demolition waste would meet disposal facility waste acceptance criteria. All of this information was utilized to provide data for the procurement of demolition services. Prior to demolition, workers tested and applied fixative agents to the peeling PCB paint on buildings 2000 and 2001 to reduce paint flaking prior to demolition and control paint loss during demolition. UT Battelle also remediated the beryllium contamination area and isolated all utilities to remove beryllium concerns and hazardous energy sources prior to demolition. The 2000 complex demolition was performed in two parts via two competitively bid, fixed-priced, evaluated procurements. Subcontracts were awarded to the Safety and Ecology Corporation based on best overall value, experience, and technical approach. The 2000 East Complex D&D project was performed first and addressed facilities with lower risk. These six facilities had no radiological contamination or contamination that could be easily abated and segregated so that the majority of demolition waste could be disposed of as non-radioactive waste at the Oak Ridge Reservation Sanitary Industrial Landfill. The 2000 West Complex Demolition Project scope included Building 2000, which had higher levels of contamination and required disposal as radioactive waste at the Oak Ridge Reservation Environmental Management Waste Management Facility, or EMWMF. Building 2034, a small enclosure over a former process waste sampling station, was also included in the scope. Prior to performing the structural demolitions, workers identified and removed or marked materials that required special packaging, disposal, or recycling, such as oils and lubricants, universal wastes, and lead. Asbestos-containing materials were commonly used in construction during the period the 2000 complex was built. Friable asbestos, found mostly in the attic areas, required the installation of temporary planking and guardrails to provide fall protection for workers required to access these areas. A heat stress monitoring program was implemented during the summer due to heat indices routinely reaching over 140 degrees in attic areas. The work schedule was changed to a night shift to avoid heat-related injuries and illnesses. 
Asbestos was removed by qualified asbestos workers and packaged for disposal at the appropriate Oak Ridge Reservation disposal facility. A small amount of friable asbestos was left in Building 2000 and recovered after demolition due to concerns for worker safety based on the structural degradation of the area. Over 700 gross yards of asbestos containing materials were abated and packaged for disposal. Radiological contamination was a concern in Building 2000 and the demolition debris from this facility was slated for disposal as solid low-level waste at the EMWMF. Most of the facilities included in the 2000 East D&D project were radiologically clean with the exception of the equipment and materials associated with the ventilation system and hoods. These items as well as several sections of ventilation duct from Building 2000 were removed prior to demolition to avoid cross-contamination of clean materials and any potential release of contamination to the environment. As an additional precaution, a fixative was applied to known contaminated systems within Building 2000 to avoid the generation of loose radiological contamination during demolition or size reduction activities. Following material abatements and securing the perimeter of the project site, track hose outfitted with a grapple, hammer, or shear were used to demolish seven of the facilities. The 2000 East D&D project began in November of 2009 and was completed in May of 2010. Demolition and size reduction activities were performed during daylight hours. Dust control measures were implemented to avoid the potential spread of contamination. This project abated nearly 5,300 cubic feet of radioactive waste that was segregated, packaged, and transported to the circular disposal cell. During demolition, this project generated almost 155,000 cubic feet of clean waste that was loaded into trucks for disposal at the Oak Ridge Reservation Sanitary Industrial Landfill. About 800 cubic feet of hazardous waste and 150 cubic feet of anomalous solid low-level waste or mixed waste were generated, packaged, and transported to commercial disposal facilities. The 2000 West D&D project began in May of 2010 and was completed in December of 2010. This project generated about 15 cubic feet of hazardous waste and 300 cubic feet of mixed waste that was packaged for disposal at commercial disposal facilities. The remainder of the waste, over 43,200 cubic feet, was considered radiologically contaminated and loaded into 176 trucks or containers and transported to the EMWMF. The 2000 complex demolition projects were performed safely with over 62,200 hours worked through December 2010 without a lost time injury. Teamwork, awareness of hazards, work planning with attention focused on safety, and diligence in identifying changing conditions were instrumental in the safe and compliant completion of the CERCLA time critical removal action for the 2000 complex. The completion of this demolition project has reduced risk to ORNL staff and the environment, eliminated the fire hazard to surrounding DOE facilities and missions, and will contribute to the redevelopment of ORNL's central campus area.